Hello, Tracy here with Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you so very much for tuning in. If you have not had an opportunity to subscribe, please do so. I am trying to reach a goal of 2,000 subscribers. Also, thank you for those who have subscribed, for the views, the likes, the comments, the shares. I do love commenting and interacting with you guys. Let's just jump right in. See what the message is the spirit has for us. Let it unfold together. Thank you, spirit. What's the message? What's the message? Thank you, spirit. What's the message? Oh. We'll take the ones that are face down. We have no place like home. Observer, change in the wind. And at the bottom we have soulmates. So this is someone who is understanding that you know what? You and this person are meant to be together. No questions asked. It's written in the stars, and you're only really comfortable with that person. This is someone who's had an opportunity to sit back and observe another. After something happens, it's like now this person is changing. Something within this person is changing. They're having a, a totally different viewpoint. They're able to see things differently now. Let's talk about this no place like home. Thank you, Spirit. Someone is worried about returning home after the decision that they made. You know, there could have been some some tricks that were or games that were played. And now this person regrets even playing those games. But they're worrying about something about home. You know, and it's a situation that they created. Yeah. It's definitely a situation that they created out of some toxic energy. Out of them whatever ego pride manipulation you know them them having some unhealed childhood drama whatever it was and it's like now they're they're looking at themselves they're doing their homework they're they're seeing what they put into it where they could have gone wrong and they see that's like they kind of wish that they could have an opportunity to do a do-over. Because there's no place like home. I definitely want to reach out. It's like before they didn't, they didn't appreciate what they had. You know, they made some, some immature actions you know whereas their spirit was telling them don't do this but they still chose to do it anyway you know it's through straight immaturity and it's like now they're they're looking at everything through a different lens through a completely different lens and they're seeing what they did to cause this they're accepting responsibility for the confusion that they put into the situation. Like I said, they're looking at it. They're 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 looking at a different out of a different lens now. Yeah, because they see somebody was not afraid to walk away, and somebody walked away. 
Somebody said, I, I can't deal with this. You know. Yeah. Someone, it's like, uh, almost like this, this person, they knew that they were trying to make moves. or They were trying to do things, you know, under the radar so that they could make moves. You know, they could do this and do that without getting caught. But the shit came out anyway. This is someone who thought that they could sneak up on somebody or or that they would be able to, you know, get this 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 pass and something that they were working on, but no, uh uh. It worked completely against them. Whatever they were trying, they tried it. But they saw that that, that was all they could do was just try it. And they, now they see that they have to leave that alone. Whatever this is, whatever it was, it caused enough chaos and conflict that they got to leave something completely alone. But what, is, what they're doing is like that change in the wind is they are changing within themselves. They're making the necessary changes to, and they're looking at, you know, what they bring to the table. How do they show up to the world? What are they putting in? They're giving, they're receiving. And they're wanting to have spirit take them, move them away from what, what they no longer feel is conducive in their life. What else, Spirit? What else? King of Cups. Six of Cups. The Tower, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. This is someone who has had to think about things, things from the past. And they had to recognize that what was built on false pretense was, was meant to fail, was meant to fall. And it's almost like it was just all smoke and mirrors, all sweet talk, all dreams. But it wasn't like real. And so now this person wants to get back to to something that's real. They want to do the healing. They want to do the work. They want to get back to what's real. After being out of balance and feeling so tied to something that was that was not even healthy in the first place. Feeling like they had to they owed allegiance to something that was that was there to hold them down. Like they, like, it was, it was like they had to, they had to keep hold so tightly of something that was meant to bring them all the way down. But now this person is moving forward. This person may have even started to get some type of medical help. You know may have checked themselves into some type of, of rehab or had to go to the hospital or and it's like if that's the case then that's whenever they found out who they was really messing with because if they had to go to the hospital the person that they was messing with didn't even check on them didn't call them 
You know, it was just like, well, I figured you'd come when you got out. That kind of butt white, you know. What else, Spirit? Yeah, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, and the world. Yeah. Person, they found out. They found out who they was dealing with. The one that they thought, oh, yes, this is the one that I need to be with. That is that. That's that. They found out the hard way. This person learned a valuable, valuable lesson. You know, valuable, valuable lesson. The hard way. You know? Could have caused this person to drink. You know? But they go from the Ten of Cups to the Five of Cups. Or, you know, I can look at it like this person, they started moving forward with their life. Yeah. No. This person has learned a lesson. Yeah. Yeah, because this could be this person, like, maybe they're in the hospital or something like that. You know, uh, had to have some type of surgery or something. I'm not sure. But it looks like this person is, uh, they're going from the Ten of Cups to the Five of Cups to the World card. It's like they learned a valuable lesson. And now they are convalescing. They may, may you know, they, they're sitting, they have no choice but to sit back and think about the shit. That's it. No choice but to sit back and think about the shit that they did or the stuff that they were involved in or the moves that they made. Or the decisions they refuse to make. Or the, whatever it is that put them in that situation where they're at now. What else, Spirit? Anything else? Anything else this person needs to know? I did see the Nine of Swords. This person is stressing. And I did see the Ten of Swords. This person is, and I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. This person is feeling completely like trapped, stuck, not knowing what to do, not knowing. But it's something that they created. It was a choice that they made. It was a decision that they made. Could have been a, a, something that they should have said, but they chose not to say. You know? But whatever it is, that was their decision. And now they don't know what to do. They feel so stuck. It's like they wanna they wanna approach someone, they wanna come up and 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 give some type of apology or something, but they're not sure how someone is going to accept it. Cause they're having they're trying to gauge your temperature to see if if they should approach you, if they should not approach you, what should, what should they do? And if they do approach you, how should they come? Should they say something? Should they try and be goofy? Should they try and be serious? What should they do? They're completely stuck. They have no clue on how or what to say, what to do. They don't have a clue. All they know is they want this to be healed. They want this to be done. They want, but they don't know how. They don't know they did. This is this is the epitome of someone doing too damn much. This is somebody who literally 
allow their butt to write a check. No, they allowed their mouth to write a check that they butt can't cash. That's what they did. Now they stressing about that decision that they done made. Now they want to be, they want to be healed. You know, now they want, I want to be saved. Mm -mm. Telling you this person, I don't know. I feel like somebody, they, yeah, something happened. And now they're realizing what they had, what they gave up because of the changes that they're going through and how they did everything to keep everybody else happy. They were so worried about what other people thought. And this is karma. As I feel like maybe family members is walking away because of some bullshit that was talked about, you know, but this is karma. Hmm. And I'm going to leave it right there, y'all. Yeah. Someone has figured out there's no place like home. But I feel like they figured it out too late. Please help me. I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers. It's free. <laughs>